Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I drew this flower using colored pencils. I was using a combination of Prismacolor, Polychromos, Caran d'Ache Luminance, Derwent Drawing, Derwent Lightfast, and Holbein pencils on this drawing. That's a lot of different pencils, but from each brand I only used a few of my favorites. I was drawing this on Rising Museum Mount Board. That's the two ply, which is just a really nice thick drawing surface from Legion that I really like to work on. I was blending with a combination of solvent from Utrecht Nude, as well as some Copic markers. You saw me use one just there. The benefit of adding the markers to this drawing was that I got to blend the pencils with the markers, but they also added some color where I wanted it, a little bit of tint. And this is an experiment for me because typically I do not use markers in my drawings. I've used them from time to time, but not consistently. And I really enjoyed using them in this piece. So we'll see if that might be something I do moving forward. I'm just not sure. And here you can see me just blocking in this petal. You'll notice how rough everything looks at this stage. It is just a layering process. I usually like to get everything blocked in and then blend it all out with the solvents or the markers. And then I can come back through and add my second layers of pencil, adding lots of details and just refining everything, making sure I'm happy with my colors and my values at this point. And each of these petals took close to two hours, more in some cases. The first few take longer as I'm starting to get the hang of it, um, deciding which colors to layer first and that sort of thing. And as I move along, I do start to go a little bit faster. You can also see that each of these petals is slightly different, so I did have to figure things out as I went along. Lots of bright reds and oranges. The whole time I was working on this, I kept thinking this is a, an October flower, and then I just decided to call it October flower because that's the way I was thinking. Lots of creativity involved in that naming process. And here I'm just starting to block in the center of the flower. This was actually probably the easiest part of drawing this. I did find this flower in general to be fairly challenging, especially these center flowers that you'll see me, or the center petals you'll see me working on in a minute. But the center here was pretty easy just getting everything outlined and blocked in. I was using my pencils to indent some lines where you see the stamens or the stems of those stamens, meaning I was just pressing really hard to make sure that that pencil really st stuck well. And I came through with a few different colors there you can see me coming through with one of my polychromos. I like to use the polychromos for that purpose because they are a really uh, hard leaded pencil and so they hold a point really nicely, makes it really easy to get those nice indentations. But the main thing I wanted was lots of crisp details in the center. I think that really helps it stand out and stand apart from the petals that I'm going to draw underneath it. I work on centers different ways. Sometimes I work on them last. They do tend to be the most difficult part of most of my drawings, but in the case of a center that has lots of stamens, I find it really hard to work around those if I wait and draw them last. So I like to draw anything with stamens first and get that out of the way. And then I will come through and refine it some 
after everything's drawn in around it. One really easy tip for drawing centers, the more detail you have, it can be very helpful to draw on a larger scale. So you can see how this compares to my hand size-wise. This entire flower was about 13 inches across, so a fairly large scale. And if I draw it even bigger, I could have gotten even more detail than I did here. But it'd be really hard to get this level of detail if you were trying to draw this on, say, an 8 by 10 size. And now just working through to refine the details. Added a pop of Posca paint pen there just to add some sparkle with the white. Now I'm coming through and drawing one of the leaves. I didn't capture all of these on video. I think there were three or four green leaves here. But I did want to show you this process. It was pretty easy. I only used a few colors, some Derwent Light Fast Greens, and some Holbein and a little bit of Prismacolor in there. Just blocked everything in, blended it with solvent. I used that same indenting technique that I was talking about with the stamen stems to indent the veins on this one. I used a gold pencil there. And you can see how nicely that center vein stands out. And blending it with solvent. I always let the solvent dry for a few minutes before I add any more pencil. Otherwise, the lead of the pencil will start to kind of crumble into the solvent as it's dissolving it on the paper. And now working on the center petals. This was the most difficult part of the drawing for me. I find drawing light or white petals to be the biggest challenge with colored pencil, which was one of the reasons I decided to bring in the markers. I use these Copic markers in super light tints like pinkish white, floral white, pearl white, and milky white. And it was, again, just an interesting technique. I could have done this with the pencils alone. So don't feel like you have to bring in markers if you want to attempt this one. I do have a four-part tutorial series over on Patreon. So if you're interested in watching me draw this entire thing and hearing more of my commentary about it, you can go over there and find this drawing. It's my most recent one. And also in the comments section here, I'm going to put a link to my affiliate over on Blick.com so you can see all of the products that I used here if you want to attempt it on your own. But again, just getting everything blocked in. I find when you're drawing white petals or lighter colored petals, the important thing is just to focus on the shadows. So draw those shadows in and then you're just going to try to smooth things out as well as you can. I like to use a Prismacolor white or a Derwent drawing Chinese white to really burnish over the these lighter petals and make them nice and smooth. also wanted to make sure I had some directional lines in here. The directional lines as well as the shadows is what's going to give these petals some shape. And that's very important to make this look more 3D. I also wanted to create some of those cast shadows where the stamens were falling on the white petals and I used a combination of the marker and pencils to do that. And here is my final petal. Just layering back and forth to make everything look really nice and smooth. 
Oops, was probably the easiest of the petals. And here again is my final drawing. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I will see you next week with another video. Bye everybody.